I please offer you a free Bud Light? Hello friends, we got a good one for you today. We're going over to Benny Johnson channel. We got a reaction coming your way. And the title of this one is, I try to give free Bud Light to drunkest people on earth. Here are the reactions, <laughs> friends. I mean, what in the world has happened to Bud Light? Well, the conservative boycott did work. Simple as that. They've lost so much money. No longer the number one be uh, beer. Uh, and, and I'll say, you know, Dylan Mulvaney is... I I don't know where that individual is. Do you, do you know anything about this individual anymore? <laughs> I don't even know if it matters. Anyway, here we are. Let's get back to the video. Let's begin. Link in the description below. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. Uh, share your thought and perspective with me as well. Without further ado, let's get to the heart of the message now. Can I please offer you a free Bud Light? Ma'am, can I offer you a free Bud Light? Yeah, I'll throw it away right there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop her! Excuse me, sir, can I offer you a free Bud Light? A free no. Bud Light? No. Way. Sir, it's so, it's so good! Are you making friends tonight? I don't think so. <laughs> can you please be the only person that tastes free Bud Light? Absolutely not! <laughs> If Bud Light had made a position, I'd mean at least taken a firm position for either the trans movement, the gay, LGBT, whatever. Just, just, just stand firm for them. But they, they wanted to be playing both sides of the coin, you know. Didn't work out very well, did it? <laughs> so that's why you gotta make up your mind. Welcome to Broadway Street in Nashville, Tennessee, the drunkest street in the world. People are pounding beers left and right, bars everywhere. You should be easy to give away some free beer. So we're gonna try today to give away Bud Light. Will we be successful in giving away a single can of Bud Light? How much damage has been done to this brand? We'll find out today on Broadway. Sir, can I offer you a free Bud Light? No, thank you. Sir. Really? You're a young man? You're not gonna take free beer? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's ridiculous. No, no. Why? Just no. <laughs> just, just no. <laughs> no, never. Done? Done. 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 Absolutely not. You would have to pay me. <laughs> can I offer you a free Bud Light, sir? Okay, there you go. He's taking the free Bud Light. I am. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> Ridiculous. Can I offer you a free Bud Light, sir? Man, why you going to offer me a free oh. Bud Light? Can I offer you an entire case of Bud Light? Heck no. I don't drink beer anyway, but but I'm not going to drink Bud Light either. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Absolutely not. No way. <laughs> not going to happen. Wow. No, I'd like the <laughs> way. Sure. It's so it's so good. Are you making friends tonight? I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> We're all just trying our best here, aren't we? Ma'am, can I offer you a free Bud Light? Uh, yeah, no. Oh wait. Yeah, I'll throw it away right there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop her. What's your finally? What's your message to Bud Light? <laughs> you Bud Light. <laughs> when you saw Dylan Mulvaney on the can, did that make you want to drink it more or less? Uh, less. <laughs> Way less. Yeah. Way less. And you drank Bud Light before, yeah. previously. Yes. And yeah. you said, ah, no, 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 no. Yeah, never again. I think big corporations shouldn't get involved in politics. F*** around and find out. See, as you can see, the more you f*** around, the more you're going to find out. He doesn't really represent America, <laughs> you know, and the poor kid, confused kid. The gays, the gays make me happy. You know, I, I mean, <laughs> it really shouldn't be promoted, that kind of thing. Yeah. You can... Be and do what you want in this country. Don't push it down on other people. Why would they do this to their fans, to their brand? I don't understand. I don't know. There you go. ESG, baby. ESG. Got to get that social credit score. It comes with a price. There it is. This is what you get. Again, uh, these companies, man, they, they losing it. Do they have to go with this nonsense? I mean, I guess in some way, some of them do, but I guess... Sure, it's ridiculous. Elon Musk got in trouble. 
his company didn't get get a, got like a zero score, but he's made like cars to help the environment. You know, it wasn't good enough. Well, I guess it wasn't good enough because he wasn't promoting that content, right? Uh, yeah, whatever. But uh, all these other companies are getting like, as long as you promote the gays and the lesbian, the supposed blacks, the voice of the minorities, equity, equality, equity, and is it inclusion? I don't know, man. Oh, the, my goodness. We've done lost our minds. Going down the drain, guaranteed. Yepers. The majority is going to be people that are out in the country and they have conservative values and they don't stand for stuff that doesn't make any sense. I hate Bud Light ever since, you know, the whole Dylan... Whatever. I believe in Dylan, whatever. <laughs> uh, Christian values and family values, and that's what this country was built on, on God. What were they thinking, man? They weren't thinking. Yeah. They weren't, they weren't, thinking. They weren't thinking. She said you're out of touch. He said we're out of touch. Like, the, the consumer's out of touch yeah, and fratty. Yeah, and, and, and then they wonder why they lost millions of dollars, right? Bud Light had been kind of a brand of fratty, kind of out of touch humor. What? <laughs> Can I offer you a free bubble? Yeah. Oh, Don't great. do it. Cheers. Don't do Don't it. Don't do it. Team. See, they put a transgender model on a can of Bud Light. And people got I'm angry. Saying yeah. I'm saying. They drink beer. Everybody drink beer. <laughs> Boy, they got you on camera. I want you to understand something. I don't care what it is that I drink. As long as it get me messed up, I'm going to drink it. Yeah! Don't put politics into something that people enjoy. I'll probably shock on this. Why are you gay? <laughs> what's, your, what's your message to the people? The suits at Bud Light. Oh, I thought it was goodness. a great idea to put Dylan Mulvaney on a can. Apologize. Own it. Own it. Own your mistake. Just apologize. I'm not a beer drinker, but you know, I know a little bit about marketing. It could have made a difference if they had apologized and at least owned it and realized, okay, we made a huge mistake. We should have never gotten in this thing. But they did not want to do it. And they could not because they are afraid of the cancel culture, you know? I mean, the, 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 at least the conservative party have mercy. They will. The Republicans will say, we get it. We understand. Some of us are Christian. We're gonna, we believe in forgiveness. But um, I don't think the same is true for the cancel culture. There is no forgiveness from these people. So once you offend the gays and the lesbians and the trends, you're done. It, it, they wipe you from the face of the earth. And I think they were more afraid of that than anything. So therefore, they chose to play both sides of the coins and they lost both parties. I can for that business and that's, that's the wrong way to go. Don't piss off your customers. Exactly. Every Bud Light truck that I've been talking to, because I work with restaurants, I work with uh, people that actually deal that, mm -hmm. they're saying their sales have been down um, actually about 50, 80 percent. Probably should look at a different job or a different company at that point. John Rich has got a bar and he stopped serving Bud Light because no one would buy it. So, no Bud Light. No, we do not carry it anymore. People weren't buying. No. We're, they weren't buying, we're not selling, so, yeah. you know. Sir, would you, can, I, can I give you an entire case of Bud Light? Hell no. No, you can't pay me to drink that right <laughs> You said. Oh, this was great. I love me some Benny Johnson. His contents are very, very um, captivating and joyful, charismatic, and... Full of laughter. I love it. That's why his YouTube channel got a million something followers. Yeah, friends. Um, too bad, too sad. <laughs> Bud Light is... We can forget about Bud Light. And I think every other company should take a look. Take a look. Don't ever do this in a way that Bud Light did. It's not to say you can't have gay stuff you support. Nobody really saying that. It, it's just when it comes to the trans movement, it's a different movement altogether. And some of the things, and Dylan Mulvaney, that image, it's not a positive image for a lot of people in, here, in, here in the U.S. doesn't mean the person can't be who they are. That's not even the thing. It's just, especially when that individual is appealing to children, and there's a lot of hurting children happening right now. 
and there are a lot of things happening to their bodies. So that individual was not really, uh, yeah, was not really the kind of person I would have, like, I mean, but I guess business, they're thinking about how to make money and everything, be more inclusive. Friday, well, it cost them greatly. <laughs> it cost them greatly. And I still say this, I don't feel sorry. I, I feel I feel like, okay, they got what they deserve. This is a case where I, I, I don't feel, I feel sorry for people who works there and you know, businessmen and so on. I don't drink. I could care less. I could do without. Um, but I can still sympathize with those who, you know, who are just going through it, man. Um, however, they got what they deserve, man. They got what they deserve. Now, they, they're, they're always companies could do this. And companies used to do this in a way that worked, right? A man that have friends must show himself friendly. I know some companies still do it. I'm just speaking generally here. But there is a friend that stick it closer than a brother. That ESG and DEI and all this stuff, th that is divisive. Okay, it's dividing people. It's not actually, um, it's not actually helping the nation. Um, the more you look into it and what he's doing, is dividing people. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth a matter separate many friends. There's some things that people are doing, companies are doing. All he's simply doing is dividing people. Is dividing people, and I think. There is a time where uh, an evil man, for example, right here, seek if only rebellion, therefore a cruel messenger shall be sent against them. There is a time for a serious backlash, a pushback against evildoers. It, it, there is a time for that because you kind of you have to set a message. And I think the conservative boycott has set such a strong, a sense, a strong, loud message to many companies out there. Like if you're gonna go do this DEI ESG crazy nonsense you want to push, if you're gonna do that, this supposed inclusivity kind of policy stuff, do it at the risk of you losing a lot of money. Even Target has lost money. Uh, there's been so many other companies. Have lost, Starbucks has lost money. Um, Bud Life, yeah, well, Bud Light has Bud Lighted itself. But I think a lot of companies has to take a page from what happened there, and say, we gotta be careful what we do. We got to be careful what we do and how we behave because this is no joke. Anyway, link in the description below. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.